Uno, dos, uno, dos, tres, cuatro. All right, for this blog, guess what? We're back. <laughs> Some of you may recall I did a blog from Whittier and really liked it. Decided I wanted to come back and celebrate my birthday, so I'm back going through the Whittier Tunnel. It's time to pour hay. The tunnel alone makes it worth going to Whittier, but coming out the other side is a spiritual experience. <laughs> the great thing about Whittier is that it's literally tucked into its own little corner in the world. It really feels like a retreat, and in the middle, an oasis. The inn at Whittier just opened this season, and they plan on staying open for all four seasons. So 365 days out of the year, you've got a nice secluded retreat in a town that is only an hour outside of Anchorage. The only thing that might top the food here is the view that you get from every single window in the restaurant. It's so great, they even keep binoculars on hand so you can check everything out. And every inch of it is rustic and relaxing. But I haven't got time to look around. I've reserved a junior suite here as a way of kind of giving myself a birthday present, and I'm excited. They spent the extra money here to make sure the beds are nice and comfy, but that's not why I'm excited. Yeah, that's a jet tub. Schwing! With the way it's built, every room has a view of either the mountains or the ocean. Take a guess which one this is. But one of the main reasons I came here is my band's on the playbill tonight. Tim Thompson, give me a sound bite. Yeah, I don't have anything. Give me a sound bite. All right, we're ready to rock. Scott, happy birthday. We are ready to rock. Tim Pronto. We're going to have fun tonight, aren't we, Scott? We're going to Wang Chung tonight, aren't we? Everybody Wang Chung to live and die in L.A. <laughs> Scott Elness and his Fairweather friends are about to take the stage. <laughs> My band is a bunch of seasoned musicians who are all seasoned enough to not really care. For us, it's not about the money, it's not about the women. Okay, maybe it's about the women, but it's also about fun. Of which it looks like the cameraman has had a little too much of. Word spreads fast that a go-to AK video blog's being shot, but some people take a little bit longer to pick up on it. Meanwhile, we wrap up our set. In the only way any band should ever wrap it up. Freebird. first and took names later. As local band Danger Pig rocked them up in the main room and we bowling knocked them down in the bar, I shuffled up to my suite for one last evening glance at Whittier in anticipation of the next day's activities. The next day, I'm ready to hit the water. Alaska sea kayakers in Whittier have invited us out for a three-hour paddle. There's the routine filling out the paperwork and busting out the checkbooks. And after our safety briefing, my friend Jim models the latest in skirt fashion. Other man, Jim Peranto, showing up the latest. Do you have matching panties? <laughs> You're not taping this, are you? Our paddles are handed out. Sometimes we see a few, sometimes we see none. And one of our guides gives us a lowdown on where we're going to go and what to expect. A little pushback from shore, and our adventure is about to begin. One of the things I love most about Alaska is the images are more powerful than words. As we paddle across the channel, the things that looked rather average from a distance are taking on a whole new life of their own as we get closer to nature and everyone is participating in the festivities. Just up ahead is one of the highlights of the trip. Kind of a noisy highlight. Yep, that's a real seagull rookery. First one I've ever seen. 
But for now, I better say goodbye. We'll save the rest for part two. And just as a little teaser, part two has a sound that we've heard once before in one of my blogs this summer, and it goes a little something like this.